What's going on? You're watching Head Cannon. I'm Scott, and today we're talking about the nine most intelligent comic book superheroes and even supervillains sometimes as well. Um, but before we get started, I want to talk about what I mean by intelligence. I'm not talking about who has the highest IQ in comics. I'm really talking about Howard Gardner's um, theory of multiple intelligences, which he wrote about in his book, Frames of Mind, The Theory of Multiple Intelligences. So it is a theory, and it has been added to and subtracted from and critiqued a lot, but I still think it's interesting, and I want to talk about it. So here are the nine categories. I mean, there are stuff like, you know, the ones that you might think of, the logical mathematical intelligence, um, but there are also other ones, like, who, like musical smartness and, um, you know, being really in touch with nature, being a people person. There are all sorts of different ones, and I think that it would be fun to try and find which comic book character fits into those categories well. So let's get started. The first one's gonna be the logical, mathematical, intelligence, the classic, what you might think of as a smart character. To me, this one's gonna go to Mr. Fantastic because it is a logical, mathematical mindset and Mr. Fantastic created a mathematical formula that could essentially predict the future and that to me is crazy smart. So I'm gonna give that one to him. The next one up is bodily kinesthetic, which is like a control over your body, uh, you know, that kind of intelligence. And to me, this one has to go to Taskmaster because he has the ability to just see something, see somebody do something, and immediately it translates and he can do it. Like, it, there's no practice involved. He can just see something, he can see you do a backflip, and then he can do a backflip in the exact same way that you did. And that, to me, is an extreme control over his body, and that's why he wins this one for me. The next one is verbal linguistic. This one was a little difficult to me. It's kind of defined as using language, both verbal and written, to accomplish goals, and I think, for me, the only person I could think of that I fit this really well was Riddler, because of his use of language in the form of riddles to accomplish his goals, both verbally and written. Uh, and I think that really fits here as well. But I, you might be asking yourself, well, hold on now, but doesn't Batman best Riddler, like, all the time? Uh, wouldn't that make Batman the most intelligent in the verbal linguistic category? To that I say, if I chose Batman for this category, I probably would not have to use him for my next category, which is intrapersonal intelligence. This is the idea that you are so in tune and aware of your own emotions and motivations and goals that, you know, it's just, it, that's something that I think Batman does have. Like, he is so aware of, you know, him, himself and who he is from his origin where he still uses that emotional pain to you know, fuel his motivation and you know his goal to rid uh, rid Gotham of crime I think that he really stands out in this field for me as someone who is absolutely in tune with himself and yeah he might lash out occasionally but it's not that you have complete control over your emotions it's that you are just aware of them and I think that he is very aware of them. So Batman wins this one for me. On the flip side of that, we have interpersonal intelligence, which is uh, the ability to understand and interact with uh, effectively with other people. Um, it's basically like being empathetic and kind of understanding, you know, different sides and perspectives to things. But I also think you could use this skill to manipulate people for your own goals. And so that's what made me think, because this was a hard one to find another character for, this is what made me think of maybe a spy would be a really good people person because they would need to know how to read people and how to use them, um, you know, to accomplish their mission. And I thought Black Widow would fit really well here. But again, this one was really hard to find someone for, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Still though, I think to be a spy, you probably need to know people really well and how to interact with other people. And I think she's shown that a lot, especially in the Marvel Cinematic movies where she has, you know, like the interrogation scene with Loki, she effectively used, you know, her knowledge of him and like what she thought he would think about her. It was like a whole thing, like she was on point, And I think that is 
so, so smart. Next up, there is naturalistic intelligence or just being nature smart, really in tune with nature. And to me, this was kind of a toss up between a couple characters, but I ended up going with Swamp Thing because he is like the avatar of the green. He is connected to all plant life. And I think, yeah totally fits for me. Visual spatial intelligence is kind of this idea where you can um, judge things spatially and you're able to visualize them in your mind's eye. And to me, nobody does this quite as well as Daredevil. Even though he can't s actually see visually, he still uses things like his radar sense and his other senses to create a map of his surroundings and the people around him with uh, inside of his mind's eye. And I think that is like the definition of being able to, uh, of having spatial intelligence. So yeah, Daredevil wins this one for me. This one's a fun one, existential intelligence, which is like the sensitivity and capacity to think about deep questions and existence and contemplate life and death and possibly even alternate realities. And to me, I think Watcher gets this one because he literally, is like the man behind the what if stories in Marvel Comics of these alternate timelines that involve, you know, these sometimes deep questions, sometimes not, not deep questions. And he does contemplate, you know, life and death and all that stuff. And I think, yeah, totally watch her right here spot on. The last one we have is musical intelligence and it's exactly what it sounds like just being really smart with music and so I thought of I was trying to think of a hero or a villain that uses the power of music to save the day or maybe even you know perform crimes but I thought of none other than someone who's not technically a comic book character but is a superhero which is Val Halen from Dexter's Lab and the Justice Friends who is you know the Viking god of rock and roll so totally counts. That's my list. It is just a subjective opinion. I didn't go through all of the comic book characters that have ever existed to form this list. It's just whatever was on the top of my head. I would love to know your list. Tell me what I got right. Tell me what I got wrong uh, in the comments below. It's all subjective at this point. So just write whatever you feel like is the best answer. And if you like getting smarter, like some of your favorite comic book characters, check out a video we did not too long ago about how Scarlet Witch's powers work through quantum mechanics, which is a really great video. I am biased, of course, but still, I urge you to go watch it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Scott. We'll be back next week with regular episodes of Comic Misconceptions. See ya.